Here we are with Summertime Rendering episode 10. And yeah, last episode we got pretty much the whole backstory to Ushio, what happened to her, how she met her shadow, how she kind of made a deal with the shadow or whatever. And like the whole backstory, how she died, what happened, how everything played out and all that stuff. So yeah, pretty interesting. And then Shinpei got marked by the mother. So, will be interesting to see what the mark does, right? If she can track his every move, even through time when he dies or whatever, or if she can control him or something like that. I would say maybe not control him, but because I think that would be a bit too broken, right? So yeah, it will be interesting to see what the mark does. She, she, I think she said something like he can't escape her anymore or something. So, yeah, will be interesting. If you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode. And immediate intro. I think there are currently 20 episodes out of 24 or so. So depending on how good our progress will be, we are probably catching up with it before the season ends. I mean, <clears throat> if I would really ramp up my reactions, I could maybe be catched up and when does the episode come out? Saturdays? Fridays? I mean, if I would go all out, I could probably catch up with it by the next episode. If I really want to. But I don't know. Because then the question is, how do I do it with the reactions? Do I release all the episodes that I reacted to at once? It would. I feel like that would be a bit of an overload of reactions for this ride. I don't know. Into the darkness. Really reminds me a bit of Princess and Mononoke. Old clinic. Oh, that old clinic. Clinic, okay. One more day. That's not a problem. I can give you one. She is shadow.
Check the shadows. Very interesting that you can change into an object. Oh, this guy, yeah, the doctor looking guy. Oh, really? That's what she saved. Battle of <laughs> interesting i mean yeah having a swimsuit on like that is like skin tight means her shadow is like smaller right because if you have like an armor on then the armor is like a bigger shadow But it's dark. That's very handy. And imagine if you had shadow powers where you can move with your shadow and stuff like that. That would be so crazy. What the fuck? It's a penis. <laughs> What does this word mean? I have no idea.
A bloom? A uh, album. <laughs> A bloom? <laughs> Hmm. <clears throat> so she can flash without copying things? That's handy. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Is can't Ushio destroy the wall maybe? Is she not strong? I thought I thought shadows were like superhuman strong or some shit. The key. Very handy. That would be crazy if it's something just for shadows. <clears throat> the nail gun. <clears throat> I wonder what kind of shadow it will be. 
person or, or just a shadowy figure? Okay, just a mouse. <laughs> I was wondering, like, what the fuck is that screech? Nail it. Oh, it's like the head cut off. Ugh. It's like a baby or something. I mean, yes, it has a nose. What the fuck? Oh my god! The hair blade. <clears throat> <clears throat> so I wonder, is this a second Chimpe inside him, or is it maybe his like inner self or something? <laughs> oh
Damn. That's interesting. Makes sense, I guess. An Ushio bed. <laughs> So there's someone else down here that has a gun. I don't think there is Nagumo. All around. Lots of babies. What the fuck? Why do they look all the same? Were those maybe experiments at some point? Hey, that was episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, something that comes up in my mind is maybe the clinic was used to experiment, right? And they abandoned it at some point for whatever reason. And maybe those baby looking like shadows are maybe failed experiments that didn't come out quite right. So maybe the, I think the doctor looking guy is the father of the orange hair dude, I, I forgot his name. So, 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 I think is his name. Um, I think that might, the doctor looking guy is his father maybe, I guess, from what they said this episode. So maybe he experimented on those, so he knows about those shadows maybe, and that's why at the one episode where we saw the night where everything goes down the drain, um, that's why he had like a shadow in the wheelchair. So, hmm. But yeah, there's someone else down there that has a gun. But like I said, I don't think it's Nagumo. So, who could it be? I don't think that it's a police officer. Maybe. But who else could have a gun? Maybe the guy that interacted with Mio and the other girl, I forgot her name. And maybe him? Seems to be like some kind of agent or something, police officer or whatever. Probably from overseas because the only police officer on this island is the police officer officer dude. Um so yeah, interesting. But yeah, we don't need, we don't know if the girl that was with Mio if she is like a shadow or maybe just working with the shadows. Maybe the shadows um threatened her or something so that she works with them. But I can't imagine that, because why threaten someone? Why should the shadows threaten someone to work with them when they could just kill the person, make a copy of them, right? So that makes no sense, really. But she acted weird at the night when everything went down. Something along those along the lines of, I didn't want to get my hands dirty or something, I don't know. Something with dirtying her hands or something, I don't know. Um, so yeah. Interesting. And we didn't got any information about the mark in this episode, so I guess we have to wait for that. But yeah, interesting to see what happens next. Right, who's down there? Why do they, why do the shadows look all like babies? Is it because of experiments or whatever? So, yeah, lots of questions again. What is going on? Why and who is down there? Um, 
And yeah, it seems like Ushio can't really recover from her wound she got from the Mio Shadow. So she has to recopy the part over and over again, it seems like, to get rid of the wound. But I wonder how often she can do that. If she can do that infinitely or if she at some point can't like copy it again to get rid of the wound. That it just comes out and bleeds out or something. But can she even bleed out if she's just a shadow? I mean, even if she can't bleed out from that, it would still be like a hassle to have like a bleeding hand the whole time, right? Because you like blood drops everywhere, someone could track you and all that stuff. So yeah, will be interesting. If you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching until next time. Bye-bye.